Hello and welcome to this introduction video of Easy JavaScript. Easy JavaScript is our latest plugin that allows you to uh, program inside VizRT uh, using the JavaScript programming language. The benefits of this is that JavaScript is a very modern and well-supported programming language with a lot of uh, huge online community with a lot of open source examples um, and it's very easy to use. So this is going to be the first video in a series of uh, videos of the Easy JavaScript plugin where we're going to create a application that builds a scene tree uh, program programmatically using JavaScript. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to overview the uh, plugin itself and the different options that we have. So to get started, uh, all we have to do is go to the built-ins tab and we go to the container plugins and inside the uh, resource folder, we have the Easy JavaScript plugin, which you can just drag and add to our scene. And this will open up our uh, editor. So the editor is very helpful. Um, it's a modern uh, scripting environment uh, with a lot of helpful features that I'm going to cover uh, in this video. So before we get into writing any code, let's just talk about the options that we have here at the bottom. Uh, so run is going to compile and run our uh, script that we write. Uh, stop and cancel will uh, stop any code that's running. Uh, the diff button is very helpful. This is allows you to compare any changes that you make to your code. Um, the help button, this is the most important button that we have. Uh, clicking on this is going to open up the documentation of uh, Easy JavaScript. And what we've done, we've put a lot of effort into making a clean and easy to read documentation. Uh, so let's just quickly go over this. Um, as you can see, we have an examples section uh, with a bunch of different uh, examples that we created uh, based on things that we think will be useful for you when uh, developing in Viz. So for example, you can read, uh, you have some example code here of how to read a local file and to pass it. And we have an HTTP request of an example of getting a resource that's hosted on a server somewhere. Um, another example here is loading an image that's hosted on a server. So if you have a server with images, you can grab them uh, via JavaScript and add them to a container. The next section that we have is the callbacks. These are the built-in functions uh, inside uh, VizRT. So for example, we have the onInit function. When the scene is uh, first loaded, we can uh, call something and you have a bunch of other uh, callbacks over here. For example, on uh, mouse move or on key up, uh, so you can get callbacks and run some code based off these events. And we'll scroll down a little bit more and we have the classes. So the classes are all the different objects that we have inside VizRT. What we've actually done is converted the uh, VizRT uh, SDK into JavaScript with all the parameters that are available. Um, so just an example, we can go to the container uh, class. Uh, this is a viz container and you have all the uh, different properties of a container. So for example, if the container is active, uh, you have a true or false value. You can see this is a Boolean uh, value. Um, what else do we have? You have the container ID, for example. Uh, you have the container name, which returns a string, which is the name of the container. Um, and you have all the different properties uh, listed here for you. If we scroll down a bit more, we have the functions of this class, the container class. So for example, on a container, we can use the add function to add a new container. Or we can delete the container, for example, uh, and all the different functions that you have. You can find a child by using the get child function. Uh, so be sure to look over the documentation uh, if you're not clear about what options you have. Um, last thing is we have a search up here. So for example, I can search for the director director class, and that's going to jump uh, to the director class documentation. Uh, if I want to do any manipulation on the animation, uh, for example, we have the go to. So you can go to a certain point in the animation of a director. So be sure to check the documentation out. Uh, it should be very helpful. Uh, the last thing we have over here is the events. Uh, if I click this, these are the default callbacks that we just saw in the documentation. So for example, if I want to run some code when the scene for first loads, I can use the onInit callback. 
and then we this is going to add the function to our uh, scripting uh, environment over here and then I can for example write console.log hello from oh, hello from easy JavaScript and so if I opened up the console right now and I hit run you can see that our message is printed out into the console uh, when we hit run we also got a little uh, message over here that our script compiled successfully so there are no errors and what's really helpful in easy JavaScript is that if we do make a syntax error it's going to tell us about it straight away so for example if I write var uh, equals um, variable so you can see that this is invalid JavaScript syntax and it's going to give me a, an error message right in line where the problem is as I'm typing, as I'm programming. So we can go ahead straight away and fix this up and call this no more errors. So that's going to be very helpful for developers as you're working. It's going to give you hints if there are any errors, you know, any syntax errors that you may have. Um, so I can go ahead and close the console now and the last thing we have is this little arrow icon over here which will pop the uh, editor out into a floating window this gives us more space to work with while we're scripting and I can just close this back uh, by hitting the X button so in the next video we're going to like I said we're going to create an application that builds out a, a scene tree for us and I want to show you the result uh, of that right now. So I'm going to get rid of this uh, container and I'm going to open up the example that I created before and in this code what we have is a JSON object uh, that defines the uh, different containers that we want to add to our scene. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this script and you can see it adds a bunch of containers also nested uh, containers into our scene tree um, and even some of the containers have different plugins. So this one has the rectangle plugin with the material on it. And this other container has a text uh, control object with auto follow. Uh, and what's really cool about this is that I can just go into the um, JSON definition here and change the values. So this will be, let's change this to first container, container. And I'm going to hit run again. And you can now see that this container has a new name based on what I defined in the JSON. So be sure to check out the next videos uh, where we're going to walk through building this out and learning more about easy JavaScript and uh, JavaScript inside VizRT. Thanks for watching.